create a definite plan to carry out your desires, your dreams, and move at once to start putting that plan into action. We're continuing the reading of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. Oh man, my shirt might disappear because it's green, but we're working with it. All right, this is chapter four, Auto Suggestion from Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. We left off yesterday with him saying, in the sixth steps, in the six steps that he, he gives us in chapter two, I believe, um, we must create a definite plan. That is the fourth step to getting the things that we desire, our goals or whatever we're working towards. He goes on to say, in the fourth step of the six steps, you were instructed to create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once to put the plan into action. Failure to do this will be fatal to your success. When we sit down, when we just get complacent, when we lose the fire behind the original desire when it first sparked, if we do not take advantage of it, it'll slip through our fingers. And I think Bob used to always say, and he probably got it from somewhere else, but ideas, really great ideas are like slippery fish. They're always popping up here and there, great ideas. And if you don't grab them, they'll slip out of your hand and someone else will do it. That's why if you've ever had a good idea and then you see someone else with it, you're like, I had that idea five years ago. Well, they hold on to it and they took action right away and they made it happen. We can all tap into that great subconscious mind. Ideas are a dime a dozen and they're always here in abundance. It's if we're willing to hold on to them, create that plan and take action on them. We'll be the determinant if they actually come forth and manifest in this world and you can do it it's just a matter of following through on the plan create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once to put the plan into action you should follow this instruction in the manner described in the preceding paragraph do not trust your reason when creating your plan for accumulating money or anything else through the transmutation of desire your reason is faulty like our logic it's faulty. It will fail us. It doesn't make sense when we're going for big things that don't make sense or things we've never done before. <clears throat> Our reason is faulty. Moreover, your reasoning faculty may be lazy, and if you depend entirely upon it to serve you, it may disappoint you. When visualizing the goal, the money, you intend to accumulate with eyes closed, see yourself rendering the service or delivering the merchandise you intend to give in return for this money. This is very important. So summary of instructions. The fact that you are reading this book is an indication that you earnestly seek knowledge. It is also an indication that you are a student of this subject. If you are only a student, there is a chance that you may learn much that you did not know, but you will learn only by assuming an attitude of humility. Ooh, that's really big. Humility, being humble, coming with an empty rice bowl, a childlike mind. This is a really good, um, topic of how often do you hear something that you've heard before or a nugget of wisdom and your automatic response is, I know, I know that, I've read that, I know, I know, I know. That will kill you. Eliminate I know from your vocabulary. Replace it instead with, that's really good, or you're right. That's what I do, it helps me. Because saying I know is a closed door. It's a closed mind. It means I know already stop. I'm shut off from more information. There is, do we really know? If we knew, we would be doing it. It would be a part of our lives. How many times have we read a book? For example, Think and Grow Rich. When I hear somebody say, I've read that. I read that 20 years ago. It's like, okay. So what did you learn from it? Or do you remember anything from it? That's why it's so important to repeat repetition, read books over and over. Like I said, I have read this particular chapter, chapter four for 90 days straight, and I've read it multiple times since, over and over and over. Has the chapter changed? No, I've changed. If we are truly living in a growth mindset, we're, we're brand new every day. So this book is the same. It's been the same for over 100 years, but I change daily. So I don't see something that is new in the book. I don't see something new. I see something new in myself every day. I'm the one that's always changing and growing, hopefully. And so that was such an important lesson for learning and really implementing these things that people talk about all the time. And it's like, oh, that stuff's just mumbo jumbo. It will be if you have that kind of attitude. But if you come with an attitude of humility, I do not know. I am an open rice bowl. 
I haven't heard that today. I might have heard it yesterday or a million times before, but I haven't heard it today. Today I have brand new ears. All right, so we um, have to assume an attitude of humility. If you choose to follow some of the instructions but neglect to refute and refuse to follow others, you will fail. To get satisfactory results, you must follow all instructions in a spirit of faith. The instructions given in connection with the six steps in the second chapter will now be summarized and blended with the principles covered by this chapter as follows. This is a good one. Okay, so this is actually the script that people have used for years when creating a goal, according to Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. Bruce Lee did this very famously, and you can find it online. What was Bruce Lee's goal? Look it up. It follows this exact formula. Create one for yourself. First, go into a quiet spot, preferably in bed at night, where you will not be disturbed or interrupted. Close your eyes and repeat aloud, so you may hear your own words, the written statement of the amount of money you intend to accumulate or the goal you intend to achieve. The time limit for its accumulation, set the time goal. Is it three months in advance? Is it six months away? Is it a year away? Three weeks away? These are SMART goals. Specific, measurable, time-bound, attainable, all that stuff. Say out loud so your voice can hear it the statement of whatever goal or the amount of money in this case you intend to accumulate the time for for its accumulation and a description of the service or merchandise you intend to give in return for this money as you carry out these instructions see yourself already in possession of the money in your imagination in your mind's eye use that higher faculty to see yourself already in accumulation of the money for example suppose that you intend to accumulate fifty thousand dollars by the end of january Five years, oh hell, it says, suppose you intend to accumulate $50,000 by the 1st of January, so by January 1st, five years hence, that you intend to give personal services in return for the money in the capacity of a salesman. This book was written, remember, in the, um, 100 years ago, so $50,000 was quite a bit of money. So this goal of by January 1st, in five years, so what would five years be from now? So it's 2022, 27. So by January 1st, 2027 or 2028, I don't know. Um, I'm going to have accumulated $50,000 that I intend to earn by giving personal service in the return um, as a salesman. Your written statement of your purpose should be similar to the following. Here we go. This is the script. Listen up. By the 1st of January, 19 blank blank, but it's going to be 2000 blank blank. So by the 1st of January, 2027, I will have in my possession $50,000, which will come to me in various amounts from time to time during the interim. In return for this money, I will give the most efficient service of which I am capable of rendering the fullest possible quantity and the best possible quality of service in the capacity of salesmen of describe the service or merchandise you intend to sell. I believe that I will have this money in my possession. My faith is so strong that I can now see this money before my eyes. I can touch it with my hands. It is now awaiting transfer to me at the time and in the proportion that I deliver the service I intend to render in return for it. I am awaiting a plan by which to accumulate this money, and I will follow the plan when it is received. I will read to you, you guys. I have my own... Um, my own goal that I created a couple of years ago from this, and I'm opening it right now. All right, so this is mine. I won't, I'll leave out the details. So you guys, I wrote this a couple of years ago. It says, by May 7th, 2023, I will have in my possession blank, blank, blank amount of dollars, which will come to me in various amounts from time to time during the interim. In return for this money, I will give the most powerful, effective healing and life-changing coaching and guidance to every person. And I use my unique gifts and talents to create entertaining and engaging content that deeply resonates with all who listen through various mediums and outlets throughout through my worldwide company, blank, blank, blank. I believe that I will have this money in my possession. My faith is so strong that I can now see this money before my eyes. I can touch it with my hands. It is now awaiting transfer to me at the time and in the proportion that I deliver the service I intend to render in return for it. 
And so I just added a little bit, like, I'm so happy and grateful now that I follow the plan that is divinely downloaded to me and is the perfect means by which to accumulate this money. Read the statement aloud twice daily, right before bed and at night and first thing in the morning. And while reading it, see and feel and believe you are, I am already in possession of this goal of the money that, that when I have achieved it. So I encourage you get this book, follow this formula, write one down for yourself, get a statement, really start getting emotionally involved with it. Try it for 30 days. Just see how it changes your mindset. He goes on to say, second, repeat this program night and morning until you can see in your imagination, the money you intend to accumulate. Third, place a written copy of your statement where you can see it night and morning and read it just before retiring and upon arising until it has been memorized. Remember, as you carry out these instructions, that you are applying the principle of auto-suggestion for the purpose of giving orders to the subconscious mind. Remember also that your subconscious mind will act only upon instructions which are emotionalized and handed over to it with feeling. Faith is the strongest and most productive of emotions. Faith is the most strongest and productive of emotions. When we feel fill a thought or a dream or an idea or a goal with faith, it is the most powerful force behind it. Faith is the strongest and most productive of emotions. Follow the instructions given in the chapter on faith. These instructions may at first seem abstract. Do not let this disturb you. Follow the instructions no matter how abstract or impractical they may at first appear to be. The time will soon come, and it does, if you do as you have been instructed in spirit as well as in act, when a whole new universe of power will unfold to you. Skepticism in connection with all new ideas is characteristic of all human beings. Skepticism, doubt is when it comes to new ideas is characteristic of all human beings. It's just natural for us to be skeptical and doubtful of new ideas that I've never done before. Cause of course we've never seen them before. So how can we have faith and trust in something that we haven't seen before? But that is faith. Faith in something you can't see. Faith in stuff you can see. I mean, come on, that's not even faith. It doesn't take a muscle of faith to believe in something you can see or something you know to be done, have been done before. But true faith is faith in something that you believe and you desire and you want, but it hasn't came to pass yet. It hasn't manifested yet, but you have faith that it will. So skepticism in connection with all new ideas is characteristic of all human beings. But if you follow the instructions outlined, your skepticism will soon be replaced by belief. And this in turn will soon become crystallized into absolute faith. Then you will have arrived at the point where you may truly say, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Many philosophers have made the statement that man is the master of his own earthly destiny, but most of them have failed to say why he is the master. The reason that man may be the master of his own earthly status, and especially his financial status, is thoroughly explained in this chapter. Man may become the master of himself and of his environment because he has the power to influence his own subconscious mind and through it gain the cooperation of infinite intelligence. We have access. We have, we have that part in us, the power that breathes through us that digests our food this infinite intelligence that is way beyond our capacity to even replicate or build this part of our mind the subconscious part the emotional part our subconscious mind look at me disappearing we have the thinking part the conscious thinking part and we have the subconscious feeling part this is what we're talking about we need to get emotionally involved with it through auto suggestion from the thoughts we choose Repeat over and over and over. Plant the seed over and over in the precious soil of our subconscious mind. It will take root and it will produce as results in our life. I guess it's time to go because I'm disappearing into Madrid. I hope you enjoyed that. Have faith in your goals. Have faith in your dreams. Believe it. What helps you gain the faith and the belief? Repetition. Repeating over and over and over to yourself. Auto suggestion, suggestion from yourself to yourself. Affirmations. Do that mirror work. I'm posting a little thing on my story today about the mirror work I did this morning. So 
I know it could be silly at first. Remember skepticism, like Napoleon Hill says, skepticism, doubt, that weirdness um, is always in our mind first when we are doing something new or changing, making a change. It can feel uncomfortable, but go for it. Look at the results. I'm happy. If you, you know, and I do the work every day. So just find someone that you resonate with that seems like they're walking the walk in the walk and talk in the talk and just do what they do. Be teachable, be coachable, be humble, come with an empty rice bowl. Don't, don't let your um, ego or your pride stand in the way of asking for help. I just bought a course from another um, coach on Instagram. <sighs> what is her name? I think she's having a sale right now, but I love to learn from other coaches. I love to learn. Let's look it up. I'll share her information right now. Her name is Manifest with Carmina. One word, Manifest with Carmina. She has a course right now called Self Made and Getting Paid. It's $37, but I think it's still on sale if you use your promo code 6,000 because she just got 6,000 followers. But it's these courses from other people who are doing the work, who have results. I love it. Go get her course. I'm on like day three right now. And I, I just love to learn from other people because we can get in our way. I can't get high on my own supply. I always have to have coaches. I always have to have teachers. And so a lot of people might say, well, you know, you're a coach. Why are you being coached by someone else? Don't you know it all? Hell no. If there's ever a coach or a teacher that doesn't have a coach or a teacher, mm, that's, that's a sure sign of <laughs> something ain't right. So continue to be teachable, coachable, be humble, come with an empty mind, childlike mind, empty rice bowl. And instead of saying, I know, say you're right. Or that is so good. Tell me more. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday.